Hey everyone, Dom here at Redleaf Exotics, and this morning I wanted to share such a bizarre and cool flower with you all. This is an Amorphophallus, and it's a hybrid of Lawalii Cross Impressus. Now these are not carnivorous, but they are so funky and cool, and if you have the space and room, Amorphophallus are such an awesome genus of plant to grow. Now, like I said, the flowers don't last long. This will probably last three days. It will go dormant, and then it will send up a huge leaf stalk, um, which will later die and then feed the bulb. And these don't necessarily bloom every year. So it's kind of a fun, rare sight to see and something that should be shared when it is going on. But let's look at this thing up close. I feel like I am in Poison Ivy's lair and I'm looking at one of her little like man-eating creations. This thing is insane looking. I love the green it's on the outer edges of the spathe. It almost looks like, I don't know, like Bane from uh, Batman and Robin put some kind of like toxic chemicals in it. It really does look like some kind of science project. This part here that looks like a big green, dark green carrot is called the spadix. And right now this is just producing a ton of nectar that does not smell good. This smells like a dying animal carcass, like roadkill. And that is how this plant is pollinated. Flies are attracted to this. It kind of looks like meat or rotting flesh in the inside. And it just smells so bad um, that flies just love it. You could definitely handle it for the three days that it's open. The sight of it alone is just so worth it. So this actually isn't a true flower. This is a floral inflorescence. The real flowers are actually down inside at the base of the spadix, and you could see both the male and female flowers. So when the flies get down in there, that's how they are pollinated. You can see the base of it almost looks like Nepenthes ventricosa, kind of round and smooth, but then it's constricted at its waist. This genus has only recently entered the world of hybridization and a very famous well-known grower, Alan Galloway, has created many of the really neat hybrids we're starting to see. And this is one of them. We're growing this one in our hot tropical lowland greenhouse. And once this flower uh, goes off, it will shoot up a nice leaf stalk, which is already starting to come up behind it. But a really cool plant and one I did not want you guys to miss. I was actually away in Pennsylvania and I did miss a day of it. I saw it last night fully open. It's probably actually starting to close now, but it's still just good enough to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.